In Nebraska, one of the most popular topics among electric consumers is renewable energy. At the same time, there is a great deal of misunderstanding of the challenges of integrating renewable sources into our energy mix. Nebraska's net metering law, which allows you to generate your own personal electricity, is a great example. So what is net metering, and what do I need to understand about this topic? Generating all or a portion of your electrical needs through a net metering agreement with your utility can be complex. At its most basic level, Nebraska's net metering laws provides a mechanism for individuals to generate their own renewable electricity to offset their monthly electric bill. Imagine an electric meter that rolls forward when electricity is used by the customer and in reverse when electricity is generated by the customer. Over the course of a month, if the customer generates the same amount they use, the energy portion of their bill would be zero dollars. Okay, what is complicated about that? In reality, the customer generator does not produce electricity that coincides with the customer's needs. The generator may produce electricity during the night when the customer demands are low, or it may not produce electricity on cloudy days when a customer still expects reliable electricity. In order to have a reliable supply of electricity, the customer will still require the utility to deliver electricity around the clock, and the utility will allow the customer to deposit any excess electricity they produce back onto the electric grid, even if it is produced at a time the utility does not need more generation. At the end of the month, this back and forth flow of electricity may balance out on paper, but in reality, the net metering customer needed the grid to keep a steady flow of electricity to their home. This process does have a cost shifting impact on all electric rate payers. While a net metering customer may be able to zero out the energy portion of their monthly electric bill, there are still costs for the utility infrastructure that they may not be fully compensated for. The net metering customer still uses the poles and wires. The utility still has the same employees and overhead, and if there is an outage, a line worker will still show up to repair the service. If these costs are not fully recovered, your not-for-profit electric utility is forced to increase the costs to those customers that are not generating their own electricity. The more customers that net meter their electricity, the greater the cost shift. We all depend on the grid, and we all should pay our fair share of utility infrastructure. As the demand for personal renewable generation grows, utilities will need to take a close look at their rates and will have to adjust the fixed charge within their billing methods to ensure everyone pays their fair share and that customers who cannot afford or choose not to install their own personal generation are not footing the bill of those that do. If you are considering generating your own renewable generation, please contact your public power electric supplier and get the facts on how net metering will impact you.